Okay, we're testing. Here we go. So, just remember to turn on the camera. We, I've just uh, cleared the first three drawers. No, nothing uh, showed up as a stress, a key stress there. So, moving on, looking at uh, frequencies and the information patterns of epigenetics, color frequencies. And onto the the main box here. Okay, the biological score index is 19 times 3. The 19, so the highest stress organ. Huh. Here's to be the ear area, which is in oriental medicine connected to the kidneys. Okay, so like the, the, the fluid that has to be removed regularly, you know, the, it's the kidney's job to remove toxic fluids from the blood, so there may be some connection there. I'm just wondering if, if you're experiencing anything related to the ears. It may or may not be. Um, the times three means that there's, there's two other scores that react. Usually every other one is kind of a resonance pattern. So don't normally test for that, but just because we're filming, I'm going to check that out. Autonomic nervous system is the next one. We can just take a note on that, Ray. Okay. Seven, 17 is autonomic nervous system. And uh, 15 is the abdominal area where the, the fluids are accumulating. <coughs> likely leakage from new blood vessel growth. When, when a tumor forms, it's new blood vessel growth. Healing tissue is also new blood vessel growth, uh, but of course we need, we need that. Um, so when there's trauma, surgery, etc., cetera, um, it's essential for healing. But yeah, those new, those, the neovascular uh, vessels tend to be leaky. So um, we're looking now at the terrain, phase two terrain which is actually where uh, spontaneous remission always happens. Uh, it always has to move from phase one low energy into that next energy level up, a phase two rejuvenation terrain where the enzymes, cells have enough enzyme uh, en energy to run the enzymes, to repair and restore the enzyme functions that help the, they're like uh, amplifiers. They, they take the reactions of, of the biochemistry and they amplify them, you know, a thousandfold, make them happen faster, easier. Uh, so the enzymes are essential to break down the toxins that are what accumulate and, and form a tumor. Uh, so it's, it's uh, that corresponds to what you may be seeing with the clinical results of uh, possible two centimeter reduction in, in nine days in a five centimeter tumor. That's uh, very exciting. So you know, we'll uh, wait for further tests and confirmation because it's only two data points with two different types of tests. So not quite sure, but that does fit the, the terrain that we're seeing here. The phase two terrain, as far as location, is also in the abdominal area okay, where the tumors and swelling are located primarily. And we have allergy, which is a sign the immune system is active, dealing with some toxins, some allergens, uh, some foreign substances. We have large intestine meridian and lung meridian, that's the, the metal element, both of those together. Okay. Let's see where we need to start. We need to start with the ear. Very interesting. That's a surprise. It's the, the source of stress, the most affected. So again, may or may not be symptomatic, but energetically that's where your body is saying, we need to clear this, you know, I, I'm thinking kidney energy from, that's up to here. <laughs> You're up to your ears and kidney. Like, kidneys are working hard. Not showing up as an organ stress. That may show up at a deeper layer. Sometimes things will, will come into view, you know, through the fog <laughs> of what's going on. Don't see it all up front necessarily. So now I'm looking for a remedy for this stress pattern that indicates has a resonance with the ear area. Something. Just 
responding to lipid cleanse. Let's double check that. Make a little space. Oh, yeah. Okay, so lipid cleanse. That feels strong and checking effectiveness and tolerance. It's not bringing it into effectiveness and tolerance, so it may be part of a combination that will work. It's, it's doing something. We'll continue looking for resonance. So that was it on this layer. Yep. Okay. Looking through all the formulations. If those don't give us what we need, we'll go to herbal tinctures, infaceuticals, homeopathics, etc. First mentally scanning to see if I get a an area, a direction. Okay. What about microbiome and uh, transfer? Right, right. There's some things in the, in the refrigeration. Immune intelligence even. Ah, transform. That's a good one for transforming terrain, which is what we're dealing with. And that's, it's effective, tolerated, not to two when I put them together. Let's see if that's synergistic, not quite. So that's very close, closer than the lipid cleanse to doing what we need. And I'm gonna look at homeopathic, so I'll disappear for just a minute. <laughs> that's cute. <laughs> Ah, okay. So I love it because, you know, I'm doing it by feel and the body knows a lot more than the mind does. <laughs> Millions of times more data process by, processed by our cellular level of, of intelligence every second. They estimate like 120 bits for the conscious mind. So rather than thinking, you know, we can think of a lot of things that might be helpful, but which one really is? The body knows. So detox kidney totally makes sense. It's, it's not effective and tolerated by itself. So we look for a combination. We've got three possibilities so far. It's not all three. It's not those two. It's not those two. Okay, we're still getting clues. <laughs> those what, if all you have put the, what if you put the terrain restore in and see if that, uh, in addition to the kidney detox? Yeah, good idea. Because we're going to usually put that in terrain <coughs> restore, see if it's helps it or makes a difference. Still same, but we'll test it with that because it'll be in that base rather than alcohol base. Mm -hmm. uh, still, still, still. Uh, what about something like phosphatidylcholine? Uh -huh. Do we have that in, in the other fridge? Yeah, we do actually. That's why I just why I thought of it because I saw it there. Okay. And, uh, Since the lipid cleanse, you know. <sighs> There's something I'm feeling in here. Let me see. Is that the one? It's a bit of a weak resonance, but could be could be synergistic or something. Still not it. That's relationship essence and the shell essences had a little bit of resonance with it. Okay. Let me see if I can find uh, phosphatidylcholine. It's on the door, uh, on upper the door. left. Got it? Yeah. Yeah, phosphatidylcholine is a wonderful solvent, organic solvent. We have it in capsules as well. Oh, good. Okay, still looking. Um, oh, wow, okay. The fridge, what else? I didn't go through everything in the fridge. <coughs> the immune intelligence, maybe? I checked. Oh, okay. Um, Gamma therapies? I'm get a little more light. Looking 
got some German homeopathics. You've got single homeopathics up in the cupboard above the testing desk. Um, the computer that's filming you just, the screen just went dark. Oh, so we want to move a, move something to make sure it stays on. Okay, that's why I wondered. I don't know if it's still, yeah, still, still recording, filming? I believe. Okay, great. Okay. So I do have a resonance pretty strong with Renelix. Oh. R-E-N-E-L-I-X, a great German homeopathic for low potency for the kidney, for detox. Green means kidney. Right. Renal. Renal, yeah. Um, let's get back to here. So that's for ear area. Uh, it's it's effective, it's tolerated, it's again not fine-tuned between the two. The other thing that was like that was transform, I believe. Yeah. It's not the two of them. Let's see if there maybe is a combination here. We have a combination there, so it wasn't the two of those, and it wasn't this with those. So I'm removing the transform and see if we... It's not quite... There we go. Nice. Well, that's cool because it's all its all of the uh, essences and homeopathics. It'll be in the terrain restore, just liquid drops. That's wonderful. Just the catalyst, not so much the material, you know, push more a, a whisper. So the... <laughs> to a whisper in the ear. Yeah, <laughs> for I know, right. How's that? <laughs> so the shell essence is on that layer as well then? Yes. Yeah, so however you can fit it, if you need two layers or, or No, put two I'm going to put one. the Renelix and the Detox on, on the same, in the same. Yeah. And then the Shell Essence, it's called Relationship Shell Essence? Relationship Essence, and it is a Shell Essence. For Harmony and Relationships. Okay. And it's made with one, two, three, four different shell essences. Interesting. Okay, so those had some some relationship, but not uh, going to be needed on this layer anyway. So the ear area is balanced. Okay. The phase two terrain is balanced. Okay. And we're moving the the score. That's good. So we still have the autonomic and a couple of meridians here in the main box, and that was all that we and the did allergy. have to start. Oh, an allergy still showing up. Yeah. Okay, which is really kidney related usually too. Right. None of those. It's the now. Now we're going to work directly on the ab abdominal area, head and tail. Okay. Okay. All right. And. Uh, okay, um, I I get two a day angiogenics, so we're gonna be working on the like trimming back those new blood vessels. Uh, and that's what angiogenics is herbs that that have that effect. Anti angiogenesis factors. Uh, one a day. To build up to two a day. You know, just up. start with one. If you tolerate that, fine for a day. Then you can go to two the next day. Um, okay, okay. So that balances the lung meridian. Is that taken with food, by the way? I'm not uh, sure about that. We'll just double check. With hundreds of formulas, I have to write it down when I research it. With food, yeah. Okay. So it, when it says with food, it generally means it's just any capsule is better tolerated with some food, so it's not rattling around, irritating the stomach, making more acid, and, and uh, just throwing the digestive tract off. Some people are sensitive and have nausea just from taking a capsule without food. So if it says without food, there's a specific reason why it's better without food. And generally, they'll still work with food if it says without food because they'll be in an enteric capsule designed not to open up in the stomach till it gets to the alkaline environment of the small intestine, but you know, just trying to optimize things. The, the natural therapies are very forgiving in general, so you know, dosage-wise, timing-wise, 
don't ever let it be a stress that, no, oh, I, I missed the right time by 15 minutes or a day or an hour. It's not like that, not like it is with taking toxins. Um, okay, so we still have the other two. Now we're going to work on the large intestine meridian affecting the autonomic nervous system. Not those. Large intestine meridian. All right, now we can use the B17 Synergy, which we had a month off from that to do some other things. Uh, this is going to be a great combination with the Angiogen X and the B17 Synergy. Dosage on the B17? Two a day. We're going to build up to two a day. Okay. It's, it's, it's a, uh, even with two a day, it's still reasonably, it's a, a mild dose. It's like 20% of the full therapeutic dose of B17, but it's got lots of synergists with it that make it much more effective. At high doses of B17, some people will get lightheaded or some side effects. So, uh, again, just, you know, according to your own sensitivity, you can feel that out. You could start with one, one the first day, one of each of these, and the angiogenics and the B17 synergy capsules. And if that's all fine and dandy, then you can go to two the next day if you want. Um, should be fine at the full dose right from the start with the, the drops, like 10 drops three times a day, half an hour before each meal. Mm -hmm. Neat, neat. So we're really working on the kidneys, the detox kidney and the Renalix, our kidney homeopathics, good ones, powerful ones broad spectrum and, and some low potency, so there's some material substance there. The the base that we use, the Terrain Restore, is great for the kidneys. It, 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 it uh, seals up any inflammation, leakiness in the kidney tubules, which make, make it inefficient at cleaning the blood and getting the nutrient minerals back in to the body. Uh, so that's, I think, why it's showing up as an ear stress. That's where the energy the, the kidney meridian, the energy of the kidney stress is, like I say, filled up to here, <laughs> like the overflow valve, whether or not there's symptoms there. It's, uh, symptoms are just a, a messenger, <laughs> a clue of what's happening at a deeper level, in this case, the kidneys. So uh, that is balancing the last two, and we didn't need these two after all. They had some resonance, the lipids, so... Did I'd the say, allergy get uh, balanced on this layer? Oh, uh, double check. Yes, it is. Okay. I think I checked it on the last layer. Yeah, it was on the on layer, layer three. Two? Oh, layer three. Layer three. Layer three is the last layer, isn't it? Yes. Okay. Correct. Yeah, so, so these are just... The resonance of the transform and lipid cleanse gives us a little more insight you know, in the pointillist painting, like uh, uh, Monet's Givenchy or something, these little dots make up the picture. And so these are related dots. Again, it's not that you need to take these, but the resonance is telling me you're cleaning out, uh, breaking down, cleaning out some some fat soluble toxins. Uh, with Those lipid, tumors lipid could cleanse. be full of that kind of thing. Yeah, right? yeah. Uh, and some tumors like uh, benign fatty tumors, lipomas, are, are just that, just a storage of fat, fatty toxins, mercury, pesticides, etc. And then transform is soil-based organisms that are trained by bringing enzymes. You're in the phase two terrain, which is enzyme-based terrain, bacterial terrain, uh, rejuvenation terrain, and, and the terrain where cancer can go through spontaneous remission, even in three days sometimes, yeah. usually with a high fever. So um, it, you just keep uh, keep an eye on, on body temperature. Uh, you may or may not develop a fever, but if you do, the first thing I would do is avoid antibiotics. Uh, you know, keep an eye on the temperature. You don't want it to go over 105. You want to keep the brain keep cool. under 105, absolutely. Washcloth on the back of the neck, washcloth yeah. on the forehead. Cool washcloths on the head, forehead, and Even neck. Even sometimes a room temperature bath. But uh, but that can be a, a tremendously so, uh, fast healing process. Where any insights on uh, why she's feeling such low energy? The energy is being used internally for healing. So yes, to answer the question, is my body working hard? Yes, it is, and that's a good reason why you're tired on the on the systemic 
level of you know the, the whole body, the whole person, the whole consciousness. Hair it's, loss. And hair loss is usually related to, most commonly related to moving heavy metals, which is a big thing for the kidneys. Uh, As the dissolving of the tumors happens. And heavy metals are a it. major, major underlying cause of tumors. They, they'll store in the tumors. Fat soluble uh, would include mercury. We didn't see any specific reaction or resonance with that, but so now we're just extrapolating, hypothesizing, guessing, like probably, yeah, probably some heavy metals moving through the, the kidneys and uh, resulting right in some one? symptoms in the head area. Isn't it the other? With the, with the, uh, the hair loss and uh, possibly something related to the ear area. All right, that's uh, the Yeah, we can answer off. any other questions. Yeah, let us know any questions that you have. We'll send you the summary report right away. Okay. okay.